hello, this is it, this is what you get. So basically, I have not kept up with anything. <laughs> so basically, I really need to get back on track because I've fallen all out of balance with all sorts of stuff. If you haven't seen my previous videos about my plans for the year and doing all this life-changing stuff, like I'm trying to change my life and get myself uh, productive and I don't know, just build skills and all sorts of stuff. So I'll link the playlist to that up in the tags or what is it? Not the tags, the cards. I need to get back on track. I have to get back on track. I have to this week. I'm behind on all my schoolwork. I haven't been working out enough. Eating, I've done okay. I'm getting better in some ways, but I keep splurging too. And so I've got to fix that. I've got to get back on practicing guitar. I have not worked on my painting in like three months. I have not done my yoga like at all or my meditation. Everything is just, I have not been doing it. So, and school has something to do with that. I'm behind on my schoolwork. I'm overwhelmed with all that, you know. So it's expected, but it frustrates me because it's like you can't live life because I have to do school and work. And it's like, how can I balance living my life the way that I want to along with all this other stuff? And it annoys me to have to push things that matter to me to the side so that I can do college. And it's, I'm trying to just be tough about it and just do it because it's true that it will be good for me if I can get the degree. But it's just annoying. And I knew that this would happen, that it'd be hard to do, that it would be hard to balance things. But I'm not giving up. I still am gonna try to do everything as best I can. I'm just gonna take you with me this week as I try to figure this out, and try to get back on track because the end of the year is coming soon already. This is insane that it's all flown by. So I want to be able to finish the year and say that I did enough and not that I fell off with everything in the middle of the year. I wanna get back on track. That's what we're doing this week and wish me luck because this is rough, but it's not that bad. I'm not in a bad place. I'm doing so much better. Struggling to juggle all this stuff is so much better than just not doing anything and giving up. So I'm still good. That's what we're working on. I gotta drive to class and then I'll update you the next minute that I'm doing something. I don't know. I'm stressed and frustrated. Can I just be really just, I'm just gonna be really real right now. Should I just, is there a way that I can just really be as normal as possible on these videos. I'm so annoyed with, I'm, I make a video and then I am frustrated with myself and the video and how it's doing and that it's not doing well because none of them ever do and I never get any views. I mean, I get views, but I don't. And I've been trying to do YouTube for years and it's just not happening. And I'm being really, really honest right now. And I don't even know if I'll upload this. And everybody who watches it is gonna say, well then why are you even making videos anyway? Why are you even trying to do YouTube at all? Why, why, why? It doesn't make any sense, right? Because I'm just a regular person. What is so interesting about my life? Nothing. I'm trying to make my life interesting, but not for the videos. I'm never trying to be fake, ever. There's nothing that's a lie in any of my videos. And I'm not trying to create a fake life. I'm not trying to hype myself up or any of that. I want a more interesting life for myself, whether or not it's gonna be documented, but clearly there's something about me that's not getting there, right? I'm not cool enough or I'm not interesting enough that the videos and the YouTube is not happening. So I am just gonna start going through a process of not caring that it's not working, okay? I have to get there so that if I make a video, it's because I want to make the video and it's the kind of video that I want to do and for myself, which 
all along I've been doing that, but I cannot lie and tell you that not in the back of my head, actually the front of my head, always, that I'm not looking at the views and all that stuff and the subscriber count to see if anything's happening. Because the truth is I do want subscribers and I do want my channel to be a thing. Of course, why else would I do this? But I'm gonna try to stop caring so much. And that's what I'm being probably the most rude <laughs> that I've ever been out of my frustration on a video. Cause I'm tired of trying to like, oh, how do I open the video? How do I end the video? How do I make people like my personality to subscribe? I don't care anymore. I will care, but right now, screw it. My personality is my personality right now. I don't want to be fake about it anymore. I'm gonna try really hard now to just be completely natural. Cause I was only a little bit trying to turn it on for a video, just a little bit, just a little bit. I don't go full on fake bubbly crazy, but I try a little bit to go a, a little bit more together for a video. Well, right now, no, because <sighs> I'm trying to do something with my life and it's not, whatever I'm doing right now is not working. So we're trying this out. We're trying brutal honesty out right now. I'm trying it out, okay? I came in here to make a smoothie, so I'm gonna make a smoothie. I just got on a rant because I look at me right now. I'm tired of looking at my face in a video or anything about me in a video and thinking it's not good enough. Hello, this is it, this is what you get. I don't like telling you what I'm doing like a YouTuber. But is that what would get me subscribers? Because all this time when I've been doing things to get subscribers, it doesn't happen. So, what would work? So here's stuff I'm using to make a smoothie. Smoothie. Fruit. Milk. The powder. I'll just use the rest. Because I bought a new one. So, uh, do you care? <laughs> Like, why am, I t why am I telling you anything? Do you care? What do you care about? Let me know in the comments what you would care about. And then maybe I can do some of that. I wanna like motivate people and inspire people in any way that I can. But I guess in order to do that, I have to be inspirational. And I don't think I'm quite there yet. But if you're um, struggling to be whatever it is that I'm trying to be. If you're like on the journey, that's what I'm on. So then let's just do it together. <sighs> I just need to stop disliking myself, don't I? If I stop doing that, then it's all good. And if the people like the videos, then fine. And if they don't like the videos, then fine but maybe I should stop disliking the videos. But the videos that I do like, I make videos that I like and then nothing happens with them and so then I'm frustrated. And then I blame it on myself. And I think it's healthy to look at your creations or whatever, whatever your product is that you're trying to sell or it not necessarily sell for money, but get a, a you know reaction out of people from or something, whatever. Whatever you're making, it's good to try to figure out what's going wrong. Why is it not reaching the audience? Why is it not clicking, you know? That's fine. I think it's good to try to get better at something. But I'm tired of thinking that it's just that I am unlikable. And maybe I am, but I don't think it's true. And that's what I need to stop doing. I need to stop watching my videos and saying the reason that it's not working is because I'm unlikable. Maybe I'm not creating content that's working, but it's not me. It shouldn't be me. There's a lot of people that are unlikable that are doing okay because whatever it is that they bring to society, it's working and people are benefiting from it. So um, be patient with me as I try to figure out new content. And if anybody is thinking I should give up, like this is I guess an insecurity in my head that people, I guess who know me in real life might think, why are you trying to do this? 
why are you trying to do YouTube? Because everyone else who's living a normal life, I guess thinks, or maybe it's just me projecting this, but people expect everyone else to live normal lives also. So why would anybody, so if you see somebody pursuing something else, it's kind of like, why are you trying to do that? It's kind of embarrassing. This is my, I think I'm just projecting my insecurities that I think that other people will think that I'm just being embarrassing that I'm even trying to do something that doesn't seem like it would fit with my personality. Like why would I, my personality doesn't seem like a YouTube personality. Like it wouldn't be something to see on the internet. And it's not about the internet. And I don't wanna be a YouTuber, but I want to be something. I want to, I want, maybe I want attention, but career-wise and so I see YouTube as a way for me to get somewhere it's my only outlet that I feel comfortable with I guess is what I'm saying um, but YouTube is the one thing that I actually care about like the one project that I want to grow and so after all these years of trying and in my opinion putting out good content the fact that it's not working frustrates me more times than not um and it's disappointing every time i try to tell myself to be patient and not give up like i said i'm not a quitter i guess i'm gonna start i have to start maybe having more faith in myself and more confidence and less insecurity or like i'm not i don't want to try to fake it anymore i don't want to put out what I think is going to work because that's what I've been doing and it hasn't worked so maybe I need to do something else and just go with my gut and what's natural in the moment for the camera and that's going to be it and if, and if nothing happens if my YouTube thing never works it's fine I've got other things in life that I can focus on but I'm not going to give up yet I mean let's be honest there's already enough fake people in the entertainment business and a lot of people who are afraid to be themselves now because there's like a a certain personality that sells and i think people thought that we were getting away from that they thought that now with the internet normal people will make it and i don't know if that's true but i'm not going to say that i'm normal or ever have been normal so maybe if I stop trying to pretend to be the new normal type of person, type of personality, and I just be my own self, which is already abnormal, then maybe that will work better. <laughs> I can't decide between being normal and then the other days when I want to be super out there. And I can't be either of those things. I can only be what I am. And it doesn't matter if I don't know who I am or all that. I gave up on that a long time ago. I don't care who I am, but it's right here. So in this moment, I don't want to try to be anything else. Like, that's not real. What you're getting is real. This is it. grocery store I also like I'm just so prepared for Halloween I'm so I need it to happen now the other day I went to the grocery store and I saw the iconic cookies look at these the Pillsbury iconic iconic cookies okay we got the ghost one mm -hmm. we got the pumpkin one yep I've already eaten like all of the ghost ones I just have this one left it's so cute we made some of them like we baked some and then i just have been snacking on them every cup every day like i'll take a couple and i just eat the i know you're not supposed to but i eat the you know the cookie dough anyway so good everything's good and it's gonna be even better so we got things to be excited about 
and we've got cookies so life is good guys life is good life is good it's wednesday now and i spent the morning eating breakfast and chilling and researching books to read about certain historical topics and now i'm gonna practice guitar and um yeah the weather is very gloomy still but gloomy makes it sound sad i like it i think it's nice it's because of the hurricane that's coming but i'm not gonna get hurricane stuff because um i live in georgia we're just gonna get rain but it's been dark and i think it's nice so anyway it's perfect weather to play some moody music so i'm gonna get on doing that let's see trying to do every day which I have not been doing obviously that's the whole thing of 
all of this is um, do four, not 400, Jesus Christ, 40 of a couple things every day. 40, I guess you'd call them reps. So 40 push-ups, 40 squats, and 40 sit-ups. That's this month. In the other, the past months, the previous months I was doing, I think I started at 20 and then I built up to like 30 anyway, so now it's 40. And in order to do that, I've got to do 20, or I guess the easiest way to do that is to do 20 of each thing in the morning or at one time during the day and then 20 later on so that it's not all at once because it's really hard and it takes me a minute because I'm still not very strong. So I'm gonna do that now, 20 of them, I'm gonna try, but uh, it's not easy. Let's try the 20 push-ups at least. Also, by the way, I can't do perfect form yet, but I have gotten better because before I was trying to do the push-ups, I would do like this and I couldn't go all the way down. And so then I was trying to do like the easy push-ups where you like still have your knees on the ground and then you just like go like that. And then I was doing that for a while and now I'm trying to actually do the real push-ups, but the problem is I can't stay up in the air very easily, so I end up having to go down onto the ground, so. Okay, that's 10. All right. We do 10, and then I'll do 10 again. Okay, now we try squats. Squats I can do fine. Those are easy. But these sweatpants are not for working out. <laughs> Alright, that's 20 squats. Now we gotta do 20 sit ups, or crunches, is what I, I think I'm doing crunches, not sit ups. Okay, now I gotta do the push-ups again. Anyway, look at this. Look at this. Do you know what this is? This is tips that I saved up for weeks to buy something. So this is a little thing that I've been doing to try to uh, mitigate, is that the right word I can use for this? I don't know, to stop myself from buying like clothes, expensive clothes or expensive things every time I got a paycheck. I used to like be like, I wanna buy this thing, but I gotta wait till I get my paycheck. So then I have the money. So then I would get my paycheck and then drop a bunch of money on buying something that's pretty expensive, right? So what I've been doing is instead of waiting for a paycheck to buy a bunch of things, I'm trying to slow myself down, teach myself some patience, and basically just save for things that I want. It's logical, right? That's what most people do. It's what I should have been doing. But I was playing around, not being smart, but now I'm getting smarter. So basically, if there's something expensive that I want, I just save my tips and my paychecks have to be used for other things like going to savings, paying off credit card or whatever or actual necessities that I need at that time. Groceries, gas, whatever. Paychecks for that stuff. And maybe buying little cheaper things that I might want. But for things that are a large purchase, they need to wait. That cannot be used, I cannot use my paycheck for that because then it's all gone. And what if I need that money? So I save. And with tips at Starbucks, I get about, we get tips every week as long as whoever's doing the tips does the tips. Uh, we get them every week. Basically, it's how many hours you work and then all the tips that were collected during that shift, I think, or something, or, or distributed among all the people based on, or maybe it's the whole week, but whatever it is, they distribute it out based on how many hours you worked. So I get about, about 20, 25, $30 every week in tips. So basically every week I get my tips in the cash and I've been putting them in 
this ceramic Starbucks. Uh, what is this? Like a, is this a mug? So I put, if I get tips, I put them in there and I just keep them to the side like a piggy bank and I save up and I wait until I reach the goal of whatever it is that I'm trying to purchase. So this go around, what I was saving for was a, a sweater from Free People. I've been eyeing this sweater for a couple months and thank God it hasn't sold out, but it is, it's called the Schoolboy Cashmere Cardi. I'm gonna put the picture right there. And yeah, I've been, I've had it in my to buy list for a while, the saved for later for a long time and I've been waiting to buy it and so then I've just been saving up for it and I finally got enough of my tips to buy it and so this is my bundle of money all together. A bunch of ones and fives and a 20 and it all adds up to be. What is the price? This The cardigan is $168. $168 guys. But I did it the right way. I saved for it on my extra cash, my tips. I've saved for weeks and I'm gonna go today to the bank and put the money into my account and we gonna buy it guys. We're gonna get this sweater that I've been waiting on.
it's Monday um, of week two of trying to get stuff all together. I'm thinking that last week can be the week that I got caught up on schoolwork because that's what mostly happened. And then this week, I'm going to try to, you know, get caught up on life work. So, Monday morning, and uh, I woke up at 6.30 a.m. Guys, it's crazy. I've been trying to. Last week, I got up at 6.30 a.m. on Monday as well, but then I didn't stay consistent about that the rest of the week. Um, I mostly, my goal is either 6.30 or 7 a.m. Th that's when I, the times that I want to wake up. Anywhere between then, because, you know, it's better to get up early, like I said, I think earlier in the video. And, yeah. So we're up early. I already did yoga and meditation already. I'm all set for the day, and I already had a cup of water so that I can try to uh, drink a gallon of water today and I've got some tea here and then I'm gonna have my breakfast so I can eat and then we'll be on our way to class and yeah a good start to the day I gotta practice guitar now I'm trying to learn a couple songs so I printed out all sorts of lyrics lyric sheets I'm working on feeling Whitney by Post Malone and others Let's practice that for a second. Or should we, let's do, maybe let's do another one and then we'll get back to that one. I'm learning how to play Stay. If you haven't noticed, I'm a big Post Malone fan. So I'm trying to learn a couple of his songs. This is actually, believe it or not, Post Malone merch. When he did a club, like a collab, I don't know if you can call it that, with um, Bud Light. So, I don't really drink beer fake fan, but I like Post Malone, so. song very well. It's not very good. Still. It's way more difficult than it seems. And I say 
Packages. I've got the sweater now. It came in the mail. The sweater that I saved up for that I showed that I ordered. I got an extra small so this better fit. I got an extra small because people were saying it's a little bit oversized and I would usually fit into a small. Oh yeah, it looks oversized. Woo! Very nice. It's very soft. I understand now why cashmere is like famous because I could never have anything cashmere. It's pretty great. It's just a simple black sweater, but it's very nice. So yeah, that's good. All right, here I am. My parents are away for the weekend to see my grandparents, but I have to work. So I'm here this weekend with my dog. So anyway, it's Friday night. I am going to make some food. Of course it's a pasta dish because all I ever, ever want is pasta. So that's what I'm going to make. It is a fusilli with ricotta and spinach dish. That's what it's called. But I couldn't find ricotta at the grocery store so I'm doing feta. I don't know if that's gonna mess it up. Um, and I've got a pumpkin spice latte. I am, I don't know what's happening to me guys, but I am getting pumpkin spice lattes now. There's nothing wrong with getting pumpkin spice lattes. I just never liked, I never liked them before and now it's growing on me. Also, look at this, um, this is my Billie Eilish shirt that I just got. I think it's pretty cool. And we're gonna get started on this fish here. Mm I think I'm gonna mess this up. I think I did it wrong. <sighs> Maybe not having ricotta was a bad idea. We'll figure it out. My boy has coffins with hammers and nails. He doesn't build ships. He has no use of sails. How come the Judas is so eager to please? And my boy has coffins. He makes them all day. Not just for work and it isn't for play He's made one for himself My bulb is coffins and I think it's a shame That when each one's been made he can't see it again To walk in the tree tracks How did I get here and how do I get back?
Okay, now I'll try it. Let's see here. I am worried that this is not going to be good. <laughs> As I'm always worried with all the food I make though, because most of the time they don't end up being good. I think it's good. Let me warm it up a bit. I think it's good. I think I did a good job. It's like simple. It's not, it's not crazy. I think I did a good job. So that was a success, I think. Hello. It is Monday. Um, third week in this vlog, this video. This is either going to be a long video or just a bad video. <laughs> um, yeah, so this is the last day I'm gonna be filming for this vlog and then we'll finish it up. So only a little bit longer. I'm just gonna try to be really productive today. I'm gonna try to paint, like work on my painting. That's the big thing that I've been slacking on because even though I haven't done everything perfectly every day, that is fine. It's not possible, I don't think. I mean, it's possible, but I don't, I'm not going to expect absolute perfection always. So most things that I want to do, I do work on those every week. So even if it's only one day a week or, you know, a couple days a week, I do that. So that's fine. But the things that I've been really slacking on that I have just not worked on in multiple weeks, but two things, my painting I haven't worked on and practicing Italian. I have, I have not been working on that. So the painting I got to work on today, it's the same painting that I started probably two or three months ago and I just have not touched it. And um, I was, you know, when I planned out this year, I was going to work on at least one painting every month, but that has not happened. It's fine. I got one painting completed this year at least, and I'm going to complete this other one, but um, I just got to work on it today. Yeah, and then I've also got to practice Italian because I have, have not been practicing, but it's fine. I still remember a couple words, but we'll get to that later. So right now I got to see what I got to do next because I like to, I plan out my entire week in my notes. Every day of the week I plan out what I have to do and I planned out by the hour, by the half hour, like every time that I have to start working on something. So right now I'll work on some homework and then I'll, I've got to do 20 push-ups, squats and crunches. Then I've got to practice guitar. And then I've got to work on my painting and then maybe I'll do a little bit more homework and then I'll lift weights, work out, do the final 20 push-ups, squats and crunches to create a total of 40 each. Then I'll take a shower and then I've got to work on this vlog. I want to start editing it now. And then practice Italian, get ready for bed, read my book and go to sleep. And I'm drinking my gallon of water for the day. I've already gotten two cups in and I have to do eight cups of this. About eight of these add up to a gallon, so I do it with an app here. It's just a water app. So I can count how much of this I'm drinking to create a gallon. So I've gotten two down, six to go. And that's update for right now. Um, yeah, I'm gonna go work on my homework and then I'll get back to you.
finished all the workout stuff and so I'm going to take a shower and I think the only other thing that I want to make sure that I do tonight is practice Italian a little bit and then I think we'll be good to go to bed. Maybe I'll try to read if I can but I gotta go up and take that shower really quick. We're gonna go do that. So I guess this will be the end of the video. I hope that you enjoyed. Make sure you click subscribe if you are not already subscribed and more content is on the way. Thank you for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.